Good morning. I was trying to draw a cavity wall detail in FreeCAD and I ended up drawing my own insulation. I don't know if there's an automated way of drawing insulation in FreeCAD. I couldn't find any videos on it so I thought I'd make the first video. But here I'm going to manually draw insulation in FreeCAD and I'm going to show you how I did it. You're about to watch a video of a video. Okay, so this side here is the bricks and this side here is the blocks and the gap here is the cavity in the cavity wall. And I've sectioned it up into four by adding a line a quarter of the way across. So I drew one line down here and then I copied it over. I think the gap is 75 millimeters, so 75 divided by 4 and I just copied it over. And then I used these lines here as a guideline to draw the insulation, so I'm going to show you how I did it. Okay, first I'm in the draft workbench here and I selected this tool. And then I clicked on the second line from the right and then you can see here that I click about there. The reason I did that is because I'm going to draw a shape like this. It's going to continue like that. And, and for this reason I guessed that the curve is going to be about there. I tried drawing one curve here as you can see up to here but it wasn't quite enough and this line it's, it's too straight. But when I draw it here you'll see what happens. I mirrored that by selecting this uh, I right clicking it and going into draft and I'm looking for mirror. Uh, click mirror and to mirror it over I click on this line, drag my line down and then click on the same line. And that creates a mirror point which flips this over the mirror point. Now I'm going to press MV on my keyboard, MV, and then drag this up. Now I'm I'm not doing this accurately because I can't really find how to do things accurately in FreeCAD. It seems to be all guesswork to me. But I'm dragging this up here just so that these lines look like they're about to meet. And then I'm going to place it down right there. Around about here. And I've placed the line and I'm going to use the straight line tool now to connect them. Okay, that's the first S and now we just have to copy this up. So selecting all of them by holding control on the keyboard and selecting all the lines and I hit MV on my keyboard to move and over here I clicked copy so that when I move this it it creates a copy of the of the lines. And I'm moving this up and click it about there by guessing. And then I'm connecting these two S's with the line here. It doesn't look perfect but it looks okay when you zoom out. And now I'm going to do the exact same and copy these up. Now this part gets quite difficult as you will see because when you try to copy multiple things like this in FreeCAD it tends to mess up You'll see it for yourself. <coughs> so I'm just deleting these lines to get them out the way. And I'm going to move these down. I'm selecting them all one by one by holding control on the keyboard and selecting them with my mouse. It's quite tedious, isn't it? MV on the keyboard and I'm dragging them up exactly the same as last time and uh, I'm just going to keep doing this. Now as I develop this, as I progress, my lines, not all of them move over. Some of my lines stay behind and some of them you, you'll see the mess. Some of my lines stay behind and they don't move over and this disconnects the whole drawing which I found 
to be quite a hassle. And, and although I sort of enjoyed creating this insulation, I didn't really enjoy using this software. So you'll see now, I'm dragging this whole assembly of lines down. I'm copying them down. I'm moving them down rather. And that part is missing. Why? Because there it is. And I didn't drag that down that far. It should have stayed with the whole assembly there. But it seems some things have a mind of their own. And things like this are not really helpful when you're if you're gonna use this software seriously in a real project this is it looks like it's going to be very frustrating and I'm hesitant so I'm dragging that down now and look at that these lines here they stayed behind now that's a hassle but hey, with tedious effort, I eventually get through it, and I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna make you sit here and watch this whole thing. So just skip near to the end if you want. But if you feel like wasting your time, you can carry on watching. I simply just try to copy the lines over, and if they move over, great. If they don't, I go back and try again. So here's my next attempt to move them again. I want to move these to the bottom so that I can start dragging them off and it happens again. This software is proving not feasible for using for serious work. I don't know if anyone's out there who actually uses this for business or any kind of serious work, but I can't see how you can. It looks too irritating. I'd rather pay for a good software. I do give the benefit of the doubt that maybe I'm not using the software the way it's supposed to be used, but should it be this hard? I don't think so. If you play with AutoCAD, for example, you can just pick that up in uh, minutes. You don't even have to look at a manual. Sometimes you can just work things out. And you use manuals and instruction booklets to uh, get a deeper look into what you can do with features and settings. Otherwise, you can just open up AutoCAD and start drawing something and play around with the tools. But this, this is going to frustrate you the whole day. Actually, it took me a whole day to draw this cavity wall drawing. I'm not joking. I didn't enjoy it. I did not enjoy making this. Look, it's taking me all... Look how long it's taking me just to draw this insulation. It looks quite... It looks quite cool, but... Uh, I'm probably going to make one more video listing the things I don't like about this software for the sake of trying to improve it. So, ways that this software can improve for user experience. Look, selecting lines is even being a hassle. Let's see where we get to the end of this point. I don't want to watch this whole thing. It looks like it's just me struggling to copy these lines up. And I'm trying and trying and trying. And eventually I get there. A drawing like this takes a minute to do in AutoCAD or Revit. 
or something. Heck, I even tried to draw this in paint. And see that there's even little bits which are messed up and I just attempted to fix them. I don't see how you can deal with hassles like this. I don't see how someone can use this uh, software in a business. Or any kind of project really. I'd really like to watch someone use this software, someone who's good at it. I might look for some tutorials on YouTube and watch somebody make something. But I'm, I've already sort of lost interest in it. I like the idea of this software, but it sucks. The software sucks. There you go. There's your insulation. If you're ever gonna actually use it, enjoy. <laughs>